season, the Married at First Sight couples are carefully guided through the entire process by our amazing team of experts. So let's bring them out right now. Dr. Pepper, Pastor Cal, and Dr. Pia. Should have known Cal was going to come with the, with the fire. Hi, good to see you. Good to see you. Hey. Hello. 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 Good to see you. All right, well, first of all, everybody looks great. Good to see y'all. Um, and so do you. Oh, I'm trying to, you know, be well, like you. Well, <laughs> here, here's the first thing. Dr. Pia, how has it been joining the team and being a part of the team these last two seasons? Yeah, it's been great. I, I'm really happy to get to meet with Cal and Pepper to just mm -hmm. kind of, like, put our brains together and get a better feel for what's going on behind the scenes, mm -hmm. get a feel for what I was walking myself into. I've, I've really been enjoying the time. Okay, how hard is it to make these matches? Explain to all the people who I try to fight on the internet all the time when they're yeah. talking about y'all. Just think of the multiple, multiple variables that go into any match between two people. We have to try and get people who have never seen each other, so there's the attraction factor, to have enough in common to feel like they belong in the same space and enough different so they can help each other grow. Yeah, It's tough. Pepper is absolutely right. I, it, it's difficult because you have all these people who I believe want to be married. Mm -hmm. I think they all have the same desire. But the desire is not enough. And when you find out that they have so many differences and trying to find two people who can, first of all, get along, secondly, have you know similar or com, you know compatible values, mm -hmm. and thirdly, who have the desire and the passion to, to, to stay in this thing for the long haul, I mean, it's, it's, it's not easy. Yeah, that is very true. All right, let's dive into this Nashville season because there's a lot to talk about and unpack. Um, how do you guys feel about everything that went down? Wow. I'm happy for the success. I'm success singular. I'm, I'm saddened by what could have been successes, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for lack of commitment and effort and stick to itiveness, they weren't. We always want our couples to succeed. We're always expecting 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we are. So um, I think I could speak for both of, for everyone in saying that, you know, yeah, this was not a happy time. Well, I think too, when, the, when you're so rigid about what you're expecting, right, and you have these unrealistic expectations, and then as soon as something's not met, it's like, oh no. And then you just kind of give up. And that was really disappointing for me to see. Yeah. 